Hey Donald, this is Chris Childers with Safe to Cross. Donald, I got your picture of the area that you're wanting to uh, protect. And uh, I'm looking at this picture and it looks like we have a forklift highway and you want to block off both ends of this particular area. Uh, while forklifts are in the area, you want to have the forklift drivers with the capability of raising uh, what we'd use is a standard, one of our standard crossing arms on both ends of the aisle. And it might look something like this. This is our standard heavy duty industrial crossing arm. Uh, both of these crossing arms can be tied together with the same controls. This is an eight by eight inch by quarter inch steel beam, which encases all of our drive component and we have a control panel located on top of each post. Uh, we would have, uh, this would be PLC controlled in the master, this would be the slave. Uh, we would have high intensity LED lights on top of both panels with audible, 92 dB audible, and uh, the forklift driver would simply drive up. Now we can activate this system several different ways. We can use an overhead pull chain, we could use photo eyes uh, mounted in your aisle way so the forklift would block the photo eye or we could use an, a wireless key fob and this key fob would be located in the cab of the forklift. He simply presses a button that would activate the system. Once the system is activated we immediately would, would illuminate high intensity lights on both ends. With audible the arms would raise, the forklift would enter the area, conduct his business, uh, when he's done, uh, well, these arms would stay uh, in the raised position until he activated the system a second time. Uh, and at that point in time, we actually have motion sense that mounts in the front that determines there's nothing underneath the crossing arm. And once we deem the area is clear for, for lowering, we lower the arm and extinguish all lights and audibles. So that's uh, one possible scenario for you to consider. Uh, let me know if this looks uh, good to you, if you want to proceed to the next step, and I can get you more information and pricing. Uh, this is a picture of some of our crossing arms in fabrication in our shop. Uh, this is another shot of our crossing arm assembly, our automatic arm, and you can see there is a this is a wireless uh, receiver it's mounted on the back side of the panel. This is our push to activate button and our high intensity lighting here. This is an example of one of our wireless key fobs, which this is actually, we have an actual uh, mounting cradle that goes into a forklift. And uh, this industrial key fob, we can have up to eight buttons for eight different devices. In your case, it would uh, probably be a single button uh, key fob. These would communicate directly to the wireless receiver mounted on the back side of the panel and would provide for the wireless activation of both of your arms. So Donald, if you would discuss this uh, with uh, any other members there at your facility and uh, look forward to working with you, get back with me and uh, let me know uh, what you'd like to do. Thank you and look forward to working with you.